Wednesday, presented by State Farm. They passed with Doris Burke. The game being played in Salt Lake City, Utah, taking on Portland. Don't forget Friday, we have one game for you on ESPN. The Red Hot Warriors have won four in a row. Take on the Pelicans, who are trying to keep their very slim hopes alive of getting into the play-in tournament. Right now, the Warriors are in the eighth spot. They have the longest active win streak in the NBA, along with the Blazers in four in a row. Utah had a five-game winning streak that's only played the Warriors on Monday night. Tough shot to lead by Warriors, but one go tapped out by Favors and eventually gets control of it. Now at three, Bogdanovich, no, Morris keeps it alive. And Bogdanovich comes down with it and gets the layup. Well, you love the activity of the first. Multiple opportunities leads to a second chance point. For the Utah Jazz. Yeah, to your point about the Golden State Warriors, four straight back to back wins against Phoenix and Utah, so the teams with the best record in the league. And that's what Draymond is trying to do. Right, and Draymond talking about, I love being in the position that I'm hunting instead of being the hunted. And boy, Wiggins goes for 38 and 7, right? You, you commit to taking the ball out of Steph's hands defensively, and Wiggins erupts for 38. Larson, meanwhile, commits a foul. Three point opportunity here for CJ McCollum, who's got 10 points. A rare miss at the line for him. Shoots better than 80% at the free throw line. So they're trying to do the same thing that the Warriors just did. They've got Utah tonight, obviously, and then at Phoenix tomorrow. Clarkson goes to the left hand and scores right at the rim. 10 points off the bench for Jordan Clarkson. Lillard beats a cutting canter. Missed the layup. Clarkson trying to get past Powell. is a very good wing defender. Powell, the first of the foul here. His first of the third team foul against the Blazers. So Clarkson trying to turn the corner, trying to sell the contact as well. Didn't get it from the free throw line area, but got it there. I don't know what he's reacting to. He ripped his left arm down. Unlike other places, innovation is this team's secret sauce. Is your secret sauce Clarkson, 90% free throw shooter. He misses one. Tomorrow on TNT, we've got a doubleheader. Philadelphia is in Miami to take on another team that you don't want to slip on right now. The way the Heat are playing. And then it's that Blazers Suns game that we talked about. Phoenix at 48 and 21. They've got two games with San Antonio after that Blazer game. They're trying to keep their hopes alive of getting the one seed. And right now they trail Utah by two games. So the Jazz wins one game and the Suns lose a game. Phoenix will be locked into that number two spot. CJ McCollum from outside of three. His first triple of the game. He just always, to me, finds a way to get off balance with his feet. And it doesn't matter if it's mid-range three. He's just so good getting to the spots for CJ. They go to him on the other end. Nurkic looking to get it back to McCollum is being covered very well by Trent Forrest off the ball. Nurkic lost it, but a foul is called here, and so Nurkic will go to the line, trying to get Portland's first lead of the night. Was that Najee Marshall that also screamed, ooh, is he done? Very well have been. That was kind of like one of those James Brown got to jump back and kiss myself moments. It's a nice drive and big time finish. Porzingis, short on the jet. The lead was 25 for Dallas in the timeout. Marshall scored for the Pelicans. And he drives and finds Jenna Gomez, who's fouled. seven consecutive playoff appearances in conference finals in 2019. Nurkic couldn't get the second free throw, so the game is tied at the midway point of the second quarter. Derek Favors, by the way, just picked up his third personal foul. Gonna stay on the floor, though. Bogdanovich takes the jump shot, no good. And Favors, dangerous play there, almost picked up another foul. McCollum, what a tough shot. Switches it home from mid-range against this two Utah 13. defenders. The efficiency with which he's putting it to the Utah Jazz right now, seven for nine. Bogdanovich with the reverse layup. 
recently seen pictures of Derek Peppers with his hip and face walking together. Y'all are doing good work out there. Wow. And uh, since we're giving shout-outs, I'm going to give a shout-out to my boy Rick Brunson. Oh, nice. Two strong, the right there. Bam! Four three. It's going at favor. He's trying to get him to commit that fourth foul. But more importantly, Rick, he educates me on basketball. So I listen to that guy. And the Blazers get a free from Powell to take the lead. Almost two and a half offensive rebounds per game. Well, he's got more than that already in this one. And we talked about it earlier as Clarkson connects to North, but we're really yeah. seeing it play out. Nurkic's importance to this place team on both ends of the court. Big when it's, when it's Lillard, McCollum, and Nurkic. Their net efficiency is plus nine per game. They're going to get him for an offensive foul there. Boy, that, that could have been huge. You would have had to come back with Rudy. Have that gone against Derek Favors? Right, that would have been number four. Instead, it's an offensive foul on Nurkic here, his first personal. Nurkic now in his seventh year. 